So now I'm going to make a classic Victoria sandwich sponge cake basically with jam in the middle. Um, never made one before so here goes. So the recipe is pretty easy to remember to be honest, just remember 200. So we've got 200 grams of self-raising flour, 200 grams of softened butter, we've got 200 grams of um, caster sugar, so there's your three two hundreds. We've got four eggs beaten, we've got um, a teaspoon of um, baking powder and we've got two tablespoons of milk. So to start I have preheated the oven on gas mark 5 and um, for electric it's 170C. I have uh, greased two baking trays. Now time to put the magic together. that's uh, farmed. So now we want to divide the mix between two tins. So I just give the tin a little shake and then it spreads out evenly. So we put them both in the oven to bake for 20 minutes until the sponge feels springy to touch on the top. Let's check to see if they're ready to come out. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. So them two are ready now. I'm just going to let them cool down for a bit and I'm going to make the filling. So I've turned them over onto the rack just to carry on cooling down. Just caught that one a little bit, but well, that's not an issue. For the buttercream filling, um, we've got the butter and we've got 140 grams of um, sugar. And I'm going to add a little drop of vanilla extract. So first of all, I am going to um, beat this butter and then gradually add the icing sugar. Oh, you can see right through that there. Anyway, um, sift the icing sugar gradually in with the butter that I've just beaten up a little bit. a little drop of vanilla ex extract that was a bit more than a little drop so we've got this nice creamy consistency now lovely buttercream there so now that the uh, sponge has cooled down I'm going to add the buttercream I've washed my hands by the way It's all nice and evenly spread on. So now we're just going to add the jam. Looking lovely. This is strawberry jam, which is the, the traditional jam that's used with the Victoria sandwich, Victoria sponge cake, however you like to call it. So now that's done, we're just going to add the top layer. And 
just sieve some icing sugar on the top. And there it is. Your Victoria sponge. Not bad. That's the first time I've ever made one of them. What do you reckon? Now we're going to slice into it. Oh, look at that. Lovely and soft.